So this was the case of 66-year-old Leslie Sinclair, who was given 125 pints of blood. Oh, in his lifetime, sorry. I thought that was like <laughs> uh, in one sitting. I was like, wow, he's huge. Um, but so on, a, on his most recent attempt to donate blood, he was turned away after he refused to say if he'd been pregnant in the last six months. So he was asked this question, that, you know, this is part of the Scottish National Blood Transfusion Service, and it, it, it does ask this question to promote inclusiveness. Um, and he said, well, I'm not answering that. And so they didn't take his blood. What's going on there, Leo? It's your people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Scotland has, has grabbed this baton of ultra-progressiveness and, and run with it. Uh, it's not a very Scottish thing to do. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's supposed to promote inclusiveness. It promotes ridiculousness. It promotes like, not getting that man's blood like when someone guy, probably needs it. Yeah, somebody in his 60s, uh, you know, being a man in his 60s, being asked if he's... I mean, even, even if he was a, a woman or a trans man, he, he wouldn't be able to be pregnant because he's in his 60s. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an utter nonsense. And it, it just shows this, uh, all this diversity and inclusion stuff is just expanding to take up all available bandwidth. So this is another tick box on a form. Every year when you go back to donate blood, the tick box gets longer. You know, the number of questions you've got to answer gets longer. We can slash all of this and save, us, or save ourselves so much time and so much money by not asking ridiculous questions like, are you pregnant? You're a 66-year-old man. Are you pregnant? Is it, are they overcompensating here? Because I used to work for the National Blood Service, and at the time, uh, it was, they couldn't, you couldn't take blood off gay men, right? So there were lots of gay activists who were very angry about this, and I was primed, because I was at reception, that if a, a group of gay people came in looking angry, I pressed the red button... I had a sort of gay button under the, <laughs> under the, under the, under the desk. Um, and I was all up for that. It never happened, unfortunately. But, um, but, you know, are they just making up for the fact that they've, they've been discriminatory in the past? It could be. I mean, I think part of the problem was is that this man was called Leslie, which is a woman's name. So I think... Ah, uh, I see. Uh, yeah. That'll be the confusion. Yeah, that's where it all went wrong. It's a very strange story. Anyway, we've